Welcome back to Cat Cam Legend. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how can you model the rotor bearing by using the SolidWorks Design Library. So this is really very uh, simple tutorial for the beginners. Okay, how can they drag components from the toolbox Design Library? Okay, and how you can model this part? Okay, so this is what actually I model and if you look at here so we have the different features okay so we're not going to discuss it but I'm going to show you how can you edit it okay so let me delete it first and let me come to design library toolbox and I saw metric bearing a roller bearing and this time let me just drag the radial cylinder roller wait for a few seconds resume it and now let's have a look at the design tree you have to keep it the diameter 19.4 or 19.2.5 and here are the some features given the bore diameter is 2.5 auto diameter is 7 and the thickness of the inner and outer rim is 2.5 mm and number of rollers you have to keep it full or 10 see the difference we have certain gaps in this case but when we click on full we have no gap okay and in display when you click simplified so you will not see the roller there will be a safety cover when you click on detail so you will see the interior portion also and here at this time i just add a cage see and this is just for the support of the rollers and i will also okay and this time i don't need the other one i will cancel it and if, for example you have done something wrong so you can edit the toolbox component I just right click on the component and come to the edit toolbox component wait for a few seconds and this time I will not add the cage it means no cage see and I will say ok so in this way you can just add edit the toolbox component and you can just write any of the components from the design library into your interface so hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial remember one thing if you are new on my channel so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also like the videos and share with your friends so thanks for watching